it worth purchasing a Lamorphic lens for your iPhone? Will it improve your cinematic footage? Working with an amorphic lens can be challenging, especially if you're new to the technology. In my experience, I found that using the native camera application resulted in shaky footage and difficulty focusing. However, with a better understanding of how the lens works and the right tools, these issues can be overcome. The lens is designed to capture a wider field of view by squeezing the image horizontally. This means that more information is captured than the sensor would normally allow. In post-production, this footage must be stretched to make it watchable. All that additional information is confusing to the native camera app. The focusing doesn't work properly and the stabilization is wobbling. I'm using the lens from Freewell. In the package, you'll find the lens itself, that is protected by a UV filter, and you're getting a 4 hard stop ND filters. Those filters are amazingly good quality. With them, you'll not get any vignetting and the footage looks very clean and cinematic. To be able to use the lens, you need a special case. Just insert it and then twist. The lens can be used for horizontal footage or for vertical footage. To install the ND filter is very easy. First we have to remove the UV one and then we screw the ND filter. To be able normally to work with the lens, you have to use the third-party software. The program I'm using is called ProTake. It's mostly the same as Filmic Pro. I didn't activate the anamorphic lens and you can see that the phone is really struggling with the focusing. So we come here to settings, accessories, and we activate the 1.5 times anamorphic. That one is wider than 1.3. Now, I really love the image I'm getting out of the anamorphic lens, but filming with it is really challenging, no matter that I'm using a third-party software. If you want to get the best results, you have to get a gimbal, because otherwise you're getting very shaky and wobbly footage. The other really huge restriction is that you're left only filming with the wide-angle lens, and that's very restricting having a camera that can film only with one lens. If you're posting short reels for Instagram, that setup is amazing because your footage will look so much different than what is out there on the market. Freewell are offering something more, something better. The whole system here, there is a magnet and you can attach magnetic filters. Those are the best filters I've ever seen for iPhone because they're really huge. So with that variable ND filter, you're not getting any vignetting. It's really easy to swap filters. And because the filters are that big, first they fit all the lenses at the same time. And second, when you update your iPhone next time, oops, we dropped it. It's alive, so the filters are strong. So next year, when you update your phone and it comes with bigger lenses, you don't have to throw the filter and buy another one. If you want to learn more videography tips and tricks, check out my video course, link in the description, or check those two videos here. Bye, and put the like button.